Dr. Kelly Marsh Titan. Really, really excited about that. And we are closing out with another round of news bites. And I guess, you know, let the cat out of the bag. Our first guest, uh, two friends of mine, like I said, former Senator Dr. Kelly Marsh Titano, a educator and academic, a very, very good friend and someone who believes uh, wholeheartedly in cultural preservation. So, uh, Senator. Very nice to see you as always. Oh, great to be here. All right, and a very wonderful person also uh, making sure that uh, art and culture uh, live on through the memory of his father, uh, the late David Luhan Sablan, Ben Sablan. So Ben, half a day. Half a day. All right, buenas, and thank you both for joining me today. Um, I would say, guys, because you're here for two different and yet similar uh, events. Ben is talking about an art gallery uh, which is going to exhibit and uh, hopefully with your contributions uh, make sure that his father's memory is preserved and uh, Doctor, you're also here because of a YouTube channel that's gone up with the the parallel between the two your two respective projects being preservation. Well, preservation but also his father was a subject. He, we interviewed him and so we have many videos of his father specifically as well. Oh, so that's uh, the most immediate connection. Okay, so Ben, a lot of people remember uh, your dad, Debit, as uh, a very, very passionate member of our community, um, mm -hmm. uh, very active in Mission Tomorrow. So, yes. uh, for may, for people that may uh, that may not remember, you know, your father and his work, um, so we can kind of like set up why why his memory needs to live on and everything like that. Please let us know. Right. So, um, you know, growing up as as his son, I, I I knew him very differently from a lot of other people, mm. you know, the way a lot of other people knew him. Some knew him just as an artist and never even knew the work he did as a as a um, native rights activist with the Nashon. Some people only knew him as a Nashon member. Mm -hmm. um, and one for me was, I just recently found out he was one of the pioneer, uh, pioneers in, in preserving the culture rather or rather um, depicting the way um, our ancestors had uh, had lived mm -hmm. lived back in back in those times and that's so critical Ben because you know th they say that you know and I'm old enough to remember when we went through as a, as a society that part of of Guam hit, or you know like in the early 90s they called it you know the self uh, self-determination point when they say we really don't have a record of who we are and who mm -hmm. we became and everything right. like that so, so you know, doing that and making sure it's like, hey, this is who we are, this right, is who we were, right. this is who we're going to be. I mean, that's yeah. so essential. Yeah, so learning that um, ignited a, 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 a even bigger fire in my heart for cultural preservation to continue mm -hmm. my dad's legacy. Um, that, was, that was what he was one of the most passionately, you know, mm. um, working towards. Was. Okay, and, and we are right now um, asking the community in earnest, like if you do have a uh, pieces of art featuring yes. uh, featuring the late uh, uh, Dave's, yeah. Right. And, and yeah. actually you're wearing one piece right now, that wonderful yes. Sanahi yes. you have. Right. Can you tell me about that? Um, if I remember correctly, this is this is what he had started wearing when he had uh, become a, a Nashan uh, co-founder. Mm -hmm. um, and so uh, you asked me earlier how, how heavy this is and mm -hmm. I, I picked it up to weigh, but then um, realizing that where it's been, there's there's way more weight behind this, and so I just want to, um, my sister and I, we want to do our father proud, and uh, you know, continue moving forward with what he had strived so hard to do was to mm -hmm. to bring the culture, um, kind of reignite how our culture benefits us even today absolutely even to today yes and of course and, and as you've illustrated here and we thank you so much for doing so ben is you know he was really a, a renaissance man who worked in a variety you know of of forms and yes. and and of events and you know we're going to get to that in a moment but i want to talk to uh, dr kelly marsh titan about about your work working in a new modern contemporary digital form and everything with this youtube channel that you put together which makes sure that you know that uh that these images and moving pictures of our culture, you know, live on for a future generation who's used to that style of receiving information. Absolutely. And the voices, you know, that's one Good of point. the things I really treasure is we can still listen to Saina David Luhan Sablon through having interviewed him and made, making these videos out of him. And the same with all of the other Manamco, Judy Flores, Ben Menno, I mean, the list goes on and on, Robert Celestio, Rob Limtiaco, those voices will be with us for generations and we'll get to hear firsthand from them. But we are very excited that it is now available on YouTube. So we're uploading two videos a month, excuse me, two videos a week. 
and uh, we we actually have over 40 videos and we've done it with the modern person in mind so we have one series where they're three to five minutes you can pass them around on Facebook on Instagram on TikTok, and we can all have the the attention span to watch the whole video mm -hmm. and then we have longer ones that are for the classroom or for those who have that deeper interest and so those are 10 minutes long maybe 20 minutes long maybe up to 40 minutes long and then at the end of the okay, so you've got the bite-sized morsels. Is, let's say like yeah. like you've got the coconut candy version, and then you've got more like the yeah. The whole, and I love coconut candy, yeah. so you know. <laughs> and you've got the, the you've got the uh, you've got the fiesta plate version. Exactly, exactly. And at the very end of all of it, I we'll, just love making food references. <laughs> I am there with you. <laughs> I could talk about food all day long, every day. But um, then we're going to be putting up the full interviews at the end as well, so mm -hmm. that if people want to sit down for a half an hour, an hour, and, and watch it from beginning to end, then they mm -hmm. have that option as well. Well, in, in interviewing uh, Ben's late father and everything, what impresses upon you the most, and, and maybe give like a little sneak peek of of his interview that people can find on your YouTube channel about about who he was and the message that that still reverberates with us. Yes, well, there are so many messages um, and. You know, I just, I, I got to know when we worked with David Luhan Sablan, both for the Lati book, because he's present in there, and then for this video series. So I've been getting to visit with him for several years now, and um, I just love who he is as a person. He's soft-spoken, but so resolute, and he stands strong in his convictions. Mm -hmm. And so, like with Ben, they grew up uh, with a very traditional upbringing in a lot of ways. They were still living very sustainably, uh, eating, you know, and but that was what his father brought forward to them. He didn't just say it, he lived it. Exactly, yeah. as, as, yeah. as an activist should, and we will always yeah. respect that. And I guess that, that's the word, Ben, because respect is the biggest thing, and you and you said, and your sister are showing the ultimate respect by making sure that that, you know, uh, his teachings will be passed on to a future generation so yeah. like you know talk about this this art project and and who you're asking to you know if they have uh pieces or you know contributions you know from your dad and how they how they can have them featured um so what we want to exhibit with this is um who my dad was uh, uh as a whole you mm -hmm. know he, um like though some some who even know him as an artist didn't know that he sculpted mm -hmm. He has he has a good amount of um, sculptures out there, and so what we want to show is um, a bigger scope of who he was, not just the activist, not mm -hmm. just the painter. Um, he was a father, uh, brother, um, grandfather, great grandfather, um, and a tomorrow too. Yeah. <laughs> um, he, I, he, I would say he is, he is as chamorro as ca as can be. Absolutely. Um, we we lived it, and we want to share that with anyone who who's um, willing to help us share what they have mm -hmm. of of him. Okay, um, and how can I get in touch with you, or your sister, to, to if they if they have pieces that? And I, I appreciate how the senator said, you know, because YouTube is shareable, and that, that's such a such a chamorro thing to do it's like oh, you know, yes. if, if your dad did yes. something with sculpture he'd probably oh, just man. be like oh you know t take it home you know, or something like that so yeah, so they can contribute those too if, if we were gifted that, that was one of the things that i want to um uh personally showcase mm -hmm. myself is that my father was very generous mm -hmm. you know and that's 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 a big part of our, cu our mm -hmm. culture so um um if you have anything that um that that means something to you that you received from my father i'd appreciate if you called me um, 688-4236 um, and we will do our best to, to uh, include it in the exhibit um, so the exhibit is going to be uh, we're, we're looking Mar uh, May 19 mm -hmm. and um, it would probably run about a month we're, we're still finalizing the details but we do want to have certain ev uh, nights for special events or whatnot, you know, maybe uh, a night that showcases his um, Nashon mm -hmm. work or um, just sculpting or um, his, his uh, with veterans because he was a Vietnam vet as mm -hmm. well. Maybe we'll, we'll have a Vietnam veteran night or 
some, something of the sort. All know? right, well, so everybody, please get in contact with uh, Ben. That number again, 688-4236, right? 688-4236, and then quickly, uh, Dr. Kelly Marsh. Sorry to know, what is the name of your wonderful YouTube channel so people can hit that subscribe? Hit that subscribe and like button, as the kids say. Yes, hit subscribe, but also the bell so that you receive all the notifications every time we upload. Oh, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, you just go to YouTube and just search for Manamku to Manhoban. It's as simple as that. It should take you right there. And then, like you said, subscribe and then hit the bell. All right. Dr. Kelly Marsh Taitino and Ben Salon. Thank you both. We, we do appreciate it. All right. Preservation, everybody, as we said.